welcome back to the vlog so today is august 8th um it's actually sunday but i wanted to get the vlog started early because this week is going to look a little different than last week so um my floors the second floor of my school is being waxed I think that's what they're doing yeah they're waxing the hallways so we don't have access to the second floor from Tuesday to Friday this week and since I am on the second floor being upper L I will not be able to go in so what I'm actually gonna do today is just prep as much as I can for the things that I want to get tomorrow and that also includes making a plan for tomorrow the things that I want to get done and then I am going to um, work on some social media stuff so I have created a sort of like social media managing brand um, more for myself as a consultant um, for social media marketing I'm not gonna get too much into that but if you want to know more about it then I can definitely film a video on it but just know that's just a passion project that I have been working on lately so today I need to create some graphics for um, a brand and then I have some homework to do so basically it's just Sunday fun day in the office I will take a little bit of a study break and go outside I need to do I went to the gym this morning but I need to take a new profile picture for my teacher gram because I'm kind of over the one that I have right now and then I'm also just going to bulk some content for the week I have a ton of different ideas as far as informational type graphics that I want to create for my teacher gram um, so if you're not following me on Instagram be sure to go ahead over there and do that it's just learning with Miss Lee and uh, yeah it's basically just gonna be a work day but I want to get started because I will be in my classroom tomorrow so we're gonna do today and we'll do tomorrow we'll count that as one vlog I also want to film a sit down video of some of the things that I regret from my first year of teaching so definitely be on the lookout for that one soon because I have the energy the time and the silence to film it and uh, yeah and then I actually am have new teacher orientation Wednesday and Thursday this week so I will bring you along with that as well lots of content lots of exciting stuff happening if you have not seen day one of classroom setup this year i'll put a little card right here but definitely make sure you go and watch that so you can see everything that i got done in the first day all right let's get to planning So this is going to be my classroom to-do list for today slash this week. I want to work on my classroom jobs display. I want to work on my birthday display. Um, I need to make a layout of my whiteboard because last year my whiteboard um, was behind my smart board, but now they're on different walls. So I'll be able to use my whiteboard a little bit differently. I also have a second rolling cart, so I'm going to remake the labels for it as well as the goodies that go inside the rolling cart. So independent work, extras, practice activities, stuff like that. And then um, there was just one thing I was thinking of as I was showing you this. What am I thinking? I said whiteboard layout. Oh, my word wall. I um, have to get papers for that the way that I want it set up. But I honestly could do it on part of my dry erase board. So maybe I'll put word wall question mark. I don't know. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Welcome back to the vlog. So it's Monday, August 9th. I did some work in my classroom last night. I am trying to think. 
Oh, I hope I brought that folder. Okay, I did. Um, I did not do some work. I need to start this clip over. All right, guys, it is the next day. So today's Monday. Um, it's going on one o'clock. Let me turn my air down because I don't know how, that, how loud that is for you. It's going on one o'clock, um, but here's the thing. So right now, my GPS says I'm like 30 minutes away from my school. I had to take a back road because there's construction, very annoying. Um, so I'm 30 minutes away instead of like the 20, 25 that I would have been able to get there. And my school building is closing at two o'clock. So I just like kind of didn't plan my time out correctly i still woke up early but i should have just went to the gym right at eight instead we didn't get to the gym until like 9 45 10 o'clock so i lost a lot of time in my classroom today by the time i get there it'll be 1 15 and then um i'll have like 45 minutes to work so definitely not a lot of time, but I do have some things that I can put up today, so I'm not super, super worried about it. I will not be able to get in for the rest of the week. I looked at the email and it said that I didn't have access to my classroom from noon tomorrow until Friday. So I'm really considering going there in the morning again and just kind of working maybe from like eight to 11. And then I could just go to the gym when I get home just so I can make up for the time that I missed today but I don't know I had to double check with my principal who's very nice very cool I'm sure she will let me but I'm still on like the same sort of time that I was on last year where I feel like I need to ask for everything and I need to just like make sure I don't want to assume so I brought everything that I needed. I also brought some of the smaller things that can just be housed in my classroom. My principal emailed me on Saturday and let me know that she got all of the second grade stuff out of my classroom because it was a second grade classroom before and um, moved all of the fourth grade resources from the other class into my room. So I think today will probably be a day of organization. Um, I also brought my my, what is that stuff called electrical tape so I can split up my board probably get my schedule cards and stuff up I think I'm gonna do craft paper on that wall behind the Promethean board um, got me having the hiccups in the middle of a sentence I'm gonna put craft paper on the wall um, behind the Promethean board so I just need to pick that up ideally I wanted to get it and then bring it there but because I already don't have time I'm not gonna waste any more time stopping and doing things anything I stop and do will just be after I leave my room and then fingers crossed I can go in tomorrow because then I might be able to get a few more fun projects done um, so obviously with the short amount of time that I have I'm not gonna end the vlog today I will probably just extend this vlog to new teacher orientation on Wednesday and Thursday um, and then we'll call that day two so yeah not how I have planned, but flexible nonetheless. So I just wanted to update you. I have a little bit of a drive to go and I will see you in my classroom. So this big bulletin board back here, this is what I meant when I said I wanted to put the influential people posters up. So I'm on the phone with Ryan and she just said like the glare, she'll just let me use some matte spray. So obviously you can't get the vision right now because the glare, but this is just 20 of them. So I think this other half, because I have extra, I think I'm just gonna end up buying maybe like the stem pack because that's the only pack I don't have. I need 13 more to fill up this side and then that little strip up there, I'm just going to put some border. And then at first what I was gonna do was put this 
quilt right here in the middle but I think now since I have that strip at the top if I put um, just like maybe not a pattern but maybe just like a white border I might be able to throw those on it so it offsets it's a little better but yeah I'm, I kind of am living for it it just would be more enjoyable without the glare so right now um, so right now it's 1.30 if this will ever focus and this is what my room is looking like this is basically how I left it really the only changes that um, we have now are that under here is empty and in there is empty because all the old teacher stuff has been taken out we did come into a couple new things so I have math manipulatives that I need to store I have some flexible seating that was given to me and then I have some book bins this is not mine this is mine but all of this stuff will also go into storage and then those are just more books that are going to go into storage so a lot of my back closet will be storage just because I don't like having open storage like this where you can see a million things that are going on so it looks like they left a paper cutter in here so I probably don't have to bring mine um, but yeah this is how it's looking and I think right now what I'll do is split up my whiteboard because I brought my electrical tape and then I need to find my hot glue gun I can't leave without my hot glue gun so yeah okay oh um okay so last week a company on Instagram messaged me called Paper Source and what I'm gathering from their page is that they do like planners and stuff like that. So they sent me this package and I don't know what's in it because they didn't tell me. But I did want to open it up on camera so I could show you and talk about some of the things. So we'll start here. I have this 17 month planner. So from August 2021 through December 2022. And it just looks like this. It's just a black regular planner. And then they sent me this sticker book. So it says 30 pages of stickers for your planner or bullet journal. And it's just these really cute planner stickers cute and then they sent these fine line pens oh oh it has like a little stand cool so these pens and then they sent me a couple of rolls of washi tape Where's my autofocus? Are you with me? Are you with me? Okay, here we go. These are the pens and this is the washi tape. So, this is all the fun stuff that I got from Paper Source. And that's just Paper Source on Instagram. This video was not sponsored and I was not sent things to talk about it, just to try it out. So, I will be updating you all soon on how I plan to use it. don't be sad, it will be a dancing day and night. All right, so I did not really get a lot of stuff done like I showed you before. I got half of the influential people bulletin board done. Um, I got half of my board done because this other half doesn't have the eucalyptus nor does it have the bulletin board border i got my homework stuff right here but i think i'm actually gonna have my schedule over here and i'm gonna move the homework onto that side but this will probably be a task for another day i'm considering ordering uh, some more eucalyptus leaves off of amazon um I don't really know if I need to though. I don't think I will have to. Um, and then this just skinnier twine I also got from Amazon. If you follow me on Instagram, this was on my, like in my library last year. So I think I might do something similar to that. Um, but yeah, 
that is basically everything that I got done today. If I'm able to come in tomorrow, I'll finish the board and then I need to work on getting some of this stuff put away into storage so that I can actually dig into my boxes. But the only thing that I'm going to do now is just look for my um, hot glue gun and then I'm going to head out. All right, good morning, guys. So today is Tuesday, uh, August 10th, and um, it's around 9 a.m. Originally, I was not going to be in my classroom today because I thought that they were gonna be doing waxing and stuff, so I wouldn't have been able to um, get in the building, but they're not gonna start the waxing in the second floor until noon, so I decided to come a little earlier and I'm gonna hold myself accountable and only stay here until 11 for two reasons. Number one, I don't have very many projects to do and I don't want them to be waiting for me to leave. And then number two, I still wanna go to the gym and everything because that's my normal morning routine. So I just have a couple big things that I wanna to do today and I know that I will have enough time to do it. So. First things first. <clears throat> this crooked. Right, is this straight? I just not. I can't tell. All right. So first things first. I'm gonna move you a little bit so you can just see. I have the other half. Ooh, where is my hand? The other half of this board to do, and I actually printed and laminated the athlete set from elementary in the mitten um these are the influential people posters like i said i will put them in the description box below my sweet friend kim made them so um i'm just gonna get these up first just so i can have this done and completed as a finished project because i gotta say you're looking like a gift for me wrapped up nice and neat baby Literally, <laughs> I don't know how, but I am three short. So I'm just gonna finish the bulletin board for like the border and put the, um, well, I could put the words in the corner. Would I hate that? I don't think I would be able to do that. I could try, maybe I'll try. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of
right, so this is just a recap of everything that I ended up getting done. I really honestly am not in love with the gray background on the first two bulletin boards that I used so I probably will end up changing it to this craft paper just because I think I just want greens and browns in my room maybe um, black and white but mostly browns and greens so I just put up this little nameplate split the board nothing too difficult if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next one bye